Feng Menglong, a renowned Chinese historian, novelist, and playwright who lived about 400 years ago, suddenly left his happy family and cozy life and decided to become the head of a remote county when he was 61 years old. Sir, the rain is too heavy. We can't go. Darn it! I have to go. Time is limited. Sir, it is too dangerous. There are landslides ahead. I know, but we can't wait. Go. That's an order. Ah, my foot! Oh my gosh, sir! You're bleeding. I have some herbs. Wait a minute. This herb can help stop the bleeding. But we can't go on, sir. You have to take a rest. I have to go. There was some bad news from Shou Ning. The pirates robbed the county, and the current magistrate is hiding away. How could the county deal with all this without a government leader? But how about your injured foot? I can still write. Just bind up the wound for me. Eww, <laughs> sir. Here we are. Who is it? Hi. This is the newly appointed magistrate Feng Menglong. Oh, Mr. Feng Menglong, sir, you have finally arrived. Please take a rest. I will help tidy your room at once. Don't bother. Let's go outside, and you can show me around. Please give me some food. Mr. Feng, so many people are starving to death. Natural disasters often hit this area, and farmers harvest nothing. What is worse, pirates come and bandits harass the locals now and then. There are tigers coming from the mountains, and they killed more than a hundred people. <sighs> It's a tough job. Maybe you should quit now and go back to your hometown. How can I back down on my first day? I'm here to find solutions for the locals. Let's go on with our inspection, please. Recognized as an outstanding literary talent since his teenage years, Feng Menglong was determined to become an official who served the people. We can actually read his mind from this quote: "一念为民之心，为天可见。" There is only one thought on my mind: to serve the people, and only the world can see it clearly. Was he able to defeat the pirates? What did he do to help local people? That is the story for another day to tell. If you want to know more about this remarkable man and his fascinating stories, just subscribe and listen to Old Wisdom, New Insights on all major podcast platforms.